Hey everyone, this is Zach from One How USA, and this is just a brief video about infill and how it can affect your prints. Infill is a support structure, usually a pattern, created inside of a print in order to increase the object's strength. I opened up a cube file in Cura to show you what it looks like when you toggle your infill settings. An object with 0% would be hollow like the cube shown here. When you increase the percentage, the pattern becomes smaller, and at 100% infill, your print would be completely solid. So this means lower percentage infill prints will be weak but fast and use less filament, while higher percentage infill prints are stronger but take more filament and time. Most objects printed for display won't require more than 10% infill, while objects printed for heavy use usually won't require more than 80%. There are many different patterns used for infill, and 3D printing softwares each provide a selection of patterns to choose from. These are some of the patterns found on Slicer from top to bottom. Honeycomb, Concentric, Linear, Rectilinear, Hilbert Curve, Archimedean Chords, and Octogram Spirals. I provided a link below for a 10mm test cube that you can download on Thingiverse.com. I recommend printing this cube using a few different infill patterns and percentages to feel the differences in strength yourself. I hope that this video helped you better understand infill and how you can use it to create stronger, more durable prints while managing your resources and print times. For more information about Wanha USA, please visit us at wanhausa.com or contact us directly at support at wanhausa.com.